Here are some of the basics of UEFN inside of Fortnite. Check the timestamps down below to find exactly what you need. So the very first thing is selecting your island. We're actually gonna pick an island. So we're just gonna go down to island templates right here. I'm going to start with a blank island, but you can choose through all these. If you made maps in Fortnite Creative 1.0, you guys are really familiar with this, but we're going to go ahead and select the blank island. So I'll just name it like tutorial video one. I don't know. All right, guys. So everything you see in front of you, this is UEFN. Okay. This is the new thing that we have for Fortnite Creative. This is how we're going to be able to make games. Now that we have our island selected, let's go over movement. All right. So now that we're inside, we're going to go over like the super basics. Now, the first thing is movement. If you guys don't know how to move around, you're not going to be able to build stuff. If you hold down the right click, you can uh, move your mouse around. And this is how you view things. To actually move where your camera is, you're going to hold down right click and use the WASD. I'm pretty sure you can use arrows also. Yeah, you can use arrows. I use WASD. You can also use your mouse wheel to like scroll in and out. Now that we know the basics about movement, let's look at resizing and moving objects around. So to select objects, we have some spawn pads down here on the ground. All you're going to do is left click on them. And as you can see, they're highlighted right here. That's how you know that you have it selected. This works a lot like other programs, just like on a computer. So if you hold down shift, you can also select multiple things at once. As you can see here, I have like multiple things selected. Now, this next thing is actually really cool. And if you guys built in Fortnite Creative 1, you guys will like really, really love this. You could finally have an undo button. So let's just say that I move the spawn pad all the way over here. I don't want it there no more. I click control Z and boom, it moves back just like that. It's super basic for, you know, normal stuff on computer, but for Fortnite creative, this is awesome. This is great. Uh, I want to go over like the basic movements uh, when you select something. So I have the spawn pad selected here. If I click W on my keyboard, it's going to let me move the thing around by selecting these different arrows. The blue one is going to be taking you up and down like vertical. You got your red for horizontal. And then, you know, this one for the other way. If you click E on your keyboard, this is how you can like rotate your stuff. And as you can see right now, I'm having it rotate on like a grid snap. In the top right corner, there's these little, uh, I guess, grids. If I go ahead and click off of this, and now I can rotate any percentage I want. If I turn the grid snap back on, it's going to start snapping to the thing I selected and then you know the final thing we got here if you click R it's gonna resize it so you can either resize this from any direction you want you can make it this way this way you can make it go up and a cool little trick about this if you select right here in the center is like this little white box this will actually resize the everything so it'll go evenly throughout uh, either way that you move your mouse but yeah that is the basics of those three and there's actually some really cool stuff with the resizing if you guys know in fortnite creative you have like a limit so you can only resize things super big and then it wouldn't let you go any bigger but inside uefn there is no limit so let's just say i throw down this wall right here i can go ahead and resize this baby as big as i want like, look at this. This is one wall, guys. This is one wall. Look how giant this is. If this was normal Fortnite creative, it can never get this size. So a lot of potential there. It's actually really cool that you can do that. If you guys remember like the helicopter landing pad, you can resize that and have like a first person map super easy now. Now let's talk about copying and pasting and some cool tricks you can do inside UEFN. But yeah, that's the basics of like the movement and resizing. Like I mentioned, there's also an undo button. You can also copy and paste. So let's just say I select this object right here. You can go ahead and click control C and then control V, which is gonna paste it. So you can do that. There's also another way to do a copy and paste. All you have to do is hold down alt. And then when you select the different movement, it automatically makes a new spawn pad for you. So every time I'm holding down alt right here, it's just copying new ones. Now, if you want to move with your object, so let's just say I'm moving this object around. I'm moving like left and right. My camera's not following it. If I hold down shift while I'm doing that, it's going to move me with the thing I'm moving. So that can be super helpful when you're, you know, trying to place in a, like a perfect spot and you can also do this with the multi-select like i mentioned so you hold down shift you enter all these or you click all these things here boom 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 hopefully i didn't grab that train i probably did but yeah you hold down shift and you can move everything just like that pretty cool i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna undo that if you click on something and you want to deselect it go ahead and click escape that should help you get out of that but yeah if you want to mass delete something you can go ahead and just select everything you want and then click the delete button 
Boom, it's all gone. Next, I'm gonna show you exactly how to drag assets into your game. All right, so that is the basics of like the movement and you just resizing all that other stuff. Now I wanna show you guys how to actually bring stuff onto the map itself. So right behind me or down below in the bottom left, there are these folders. If you go ahead and select the Fortnite folder, you can open this up. And this is where you're gonna find all those different uh, things that Fortnite Creative already has. So for example, if I go down to galleries, you guys are used to galleries. We can go down to, uh, let's go down to building. We're gonna select the castle gallery A. And as you can see down below, this is gonna show everything that they have in this gallery here. So I see a wall that I like. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab this and drag it on into the grid. Now, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the grid snap is in the top right over here. If you wanna turn off grid snap, just select this, this little uh, grid thing. And now you can move this freely. I'm gonna keep it on the grid snap just for this tutorial though. Now let's talk a little bit about the basics of devices inside UEFN. Now I'm probably gonna make a separate video about devices, but for example, if I throw down an item granter, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this down in the map right here. We got the device right here and on the right side over here, this is where it's gonna show all the settings for that device. It looks like a lot, but it works really similar to Fortnite Creative 1.0. I'm gonna make a separate video about devices and how to use them, but for the basics, if you look on the right side of your screen, while you have the item grantor selected, it's gonna show you all these things like enable, disable, grant item. I'll do a quick example here on the video, but we have this player spawner here, right? So while I have the item grantor selected, I'm gonna click the grant item thing and click this little plus icon. After I click the plus, there's like this little, I don't even know what you call that, it's like a selector like pen thing. I'm gonna go ahead and click that and I'm gonna click my player spawner. Boom. So now it's selected my player spawner and right underneath it, I'm gonna click it. It says on player spawned, boom. So now basically what that means is like when a player spawns on that spawn pad, it's gonna activate the grant item. I'm gonna make a full video on it later, but that's kind of the basics of how you, you know, work the devices here. There's also verse, there's some coding you can do, but for like the basic devices we got in Fortnite, this is like the way I like to do it. Now let's look at some of the basics you can do with the material editor. Let's see, I also wanna show you guys a little bit about the materials and how to do that. So over here on the top left, this is where you can kind of just like scroll through, look at different things. There's like lighting, actors, and um, we have the shapes category. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag a cube here onto our map. I'm actually gonna resize the cube as well. So we're gonna grab right here in the center, resize it. Now, just from Google, I found like this a random, it's just a black picture, just pure black. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this onto the cube. Okay, so now that I have my material uh, created, I'm gonna go ahead and double click this. And it's gonna open up this like material editor thing. This is basically what the material is gonna look like. So whenever you update this, it's gonna update that material of what you have on the object. So this is the base color that we have here on the left on this display here. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is right click anywhere. I'm gonna click constant and drag this in here. This is gonna look really confusing, but um, a constant just makes it like constantly whatever you select i'm gonna drag this into the base color up here boom okay and then i'm also gonna make another constant and this one i'm gonna drag over to the metallic thing i'm gonna actually zoom in here so you guys can actually see this so i have both of these constants this one's dragged into the metallic i'm gonna select this one and as you can see right here hopefully you guys can see this there is a value of uh zero if i move this up let's just click in five it's gonna make my color change a whole bunch. It's gonna look really weird. If I move this negative five, it kind of gives it like more of that metallic look. It's a little bit more shiny. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. Uh, you could play around with this, kind of figure out what you want to do with that. I'm gonna right click again. I'm gonna add another constant. So let's go ahead and just add this here. And this one I'm gonna drag into the roughness. So I'm gonna click right there, boom. This is the really cool one. If you want this like uh, material to be super shiny or like reflective, this is the one to work with. So as you can see with the value at zero, you can kind of see it's a little bit reflective. If I move this up to five, it's gonna make it more just like a normal color. So let's do negative five now. Boom, it's super shiny. So once you find a material that you like, this is kind of what I'm going for. I'm gonna go to the top here and click apply. Now if we exit out of here, check it out guys. 
This same cube that had that material is now super reflective. And inside the game, it's gonna look just like that. The only thing I have to mention, when you are changing your material around, if you don't click apply, it's not gonna show. So make sure you guys are clicking that and it will uh, fix that for your materials. Now that we have some basics about material editor, let's go and check out the landscape mode. Now that I went over the basics of materials, I'll probably make another video about that eventually, but I wanna go over like the super, super basics of the terrain editor. So what you guys are gonna wanna do over here in the top left, we are in selection mode. If I click that right now, we're gonna go to the landscape mode, boom. And as you can see here, we already got kind of like the base layer of our terrain. I'm actually gonna lower this a little bit. So I'm gonna click W and drag this down a little bit. If I drag it two down, it's gonna be under the grid. So let's just move it up just a little bit here. Right there should be fine. Once you find like a layer that you want, you just have to scroll down here and click this little uh, blue create button. And now after a few seconds, Come on, load, boom, just like that. We got our whole place uh, surrounded in this terrain right here. So this is the super fun part. I know a lot of people have been looking forward for this. This is the terrain editor inside of UEFN. So we have this super cool landscape here. And in the top left, I have this selected, it says sculpt. All you have to do is left click, boom, and just kind of hold it or drag it up. And check this out, guys. We're starting to form a little bit of terrain. Now, there's also different brush sizes. You can also turn up how uh, strong the tool is. I'm pretty sure the stronger you turn it up, like the more it'll grow instantly. So look at this. Yeah, I can make mountains super, super fast now. So as you can see, this is looking like really wonky and stuff. There's also some other tools in here. So if I click the smooth tool, I'm gonna go ahead and select this now, boom. You can also just kind of smooth out. Let me turn down the strength here, hold on. All right. You can kind of smooth out the mountains a little bit. Kind of give it more of like that roundness look. It doesn't have to be super pointy or nothing. Uh, this is a really good one. It's called the flatten tool. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And when you click it, it makes like an actual flat surface. This looks really nice. If you actually spend time in here, you can make some really nice terrain. There's also a ramp tool, which is pretty cool. So you select like the top of where you want the ramp to be. And then you can also select the floor level. Boom. Scroll down to here. It says add ramp. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and look at that guys instantly boom It makes a ramp just like that for you if this is Fortnite creative one This would take super long to make probably a lot of memory It would not look this clean, you know, and this is just the basics I just made this in probably like what a minute you can add more to it just like that I mean you could smooth it all out like you could do whatever you want with it I might make an actual full video on this in the future if you guys want that let me know but uh, those are like the super basics of how to use like the landscape mode. But yeah, these are the basics of UEFN inside Fortnite. I think it's really cool. I'm excited to, you know, start creating some games and hopefully you guys make some really cool stuff in the future. I'm going to be making some more tutorials. So please let me know down below what you guys want to see next. If you guys enjoyed today's video, smash a like on it. I'll also have a playlist down below with every type of tutorial that I have on UEFN. If you guys found this video helpful, I really appreciate you guys subscribing and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.